Welcome to MathCast Edition 2. This is part 3 in a three-part series on algae tiles, what they are and how we can use them. Our third installment here will be talking about something called the area model. And if you wish to pause now, you can read this fine little page of things we can show with the area model. But I'm going to get right to the point. Doing a quick review of calculating the area of some squares just so we're familiar with some of the notation. If I want to calculate the area of a 5 by 5 square, the dimensions are 5. When you multiply 5 times 5, another way of writing that is 5 squared with an exponent 2. The result is still 25. If you look at the area of a 7 by 7 square, 7 times 7, another way of writing it, 7 squared, the result is 49. So what I'd like you to consider is what would be the area of a 1 by 1 square? Well, if I produce that square, they have dimensions of 1 on each side. And when you multiply 1 by 1, it's the same as 1 to the exponent 2, or 1 squared, but it still, real, still generates a result of 1. And here's the big finish. Calculate the area of a square with side length x. Well, x is a number we don't know. So if I look at this square, I have x times x. And as far as I can go is x squared. I can't actually calculate a value because I don't know one yet. So this piece here, the x squared piece, and the 1 will be two out of the three algae tiles we're going to start working with in the very near future. The third comes from here. If I take a rectangle that has dimensions 5 by 1, so 1 is its width, 5 is its height or length, when I multiply those two numbers together to get the area, I come up with 5. If I repeat that for a 7 by 1 rectangle, height of 7, width of 1, multiply those two numbers together, and I just get 7. So the question we're trying to investigate here is, what happens when I multiply a rectangle of width 1 and length x, what is the area? Well, if I multiply those two together, I come up with just x. This will be our third piece of our algae tiles, and it will just be called x. So here's what they look like all together. You have your x squared term, your x term, your 1 term. Notice how we're using blue for positive and red for their negative counterparts. And again, they have the same shape. x squareds both look the same, but one's positive, one's negative. x terms look the same. One's positive, one's negative. Okay, and our one values, the reds are negative, blues are positive. So the zero principle still applies with algae tiles. If we pair up an x squared and a negative x squared, that cancels off for zero. The one big rule we have to remember for algae tiles when we're working with the area model is that the same lengths sides are the only ones that are allowed to touch. And what I mean by that is, if I was to put an x beside an x squared, this would be acceptable here because these have the same lengths. This would be unacceptable here in my second example. I cannot put a 1 next to an x squared, even though it looks like they fill it in. I must have the same length sides in contact. So notice the 1 can connect to other 1s and x's. The x can connect between x's and 1's, but you cannot connect an x squared to a 1. This is very important to remember, otherwise our area model won't work so well. This is a long-term view of where we're going with the area model in combination with the multiplication array. If you can see here on the left, I have a multiplication array example from a previous math cast, and I'm comparing it to a more difficult algebraic model here, but the only difference is where there was a 10 in the multiplication array on the left, I'm replacing it with an unknown. And again, we're concentrating that the dimensions on the outside multiply to give the area on the inside. Even though we have unknowns in this example, we'll deal with that in time, and you'll find it's not that far a jump between these two models. Thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please send an email to childs underscore math at yahoo.com. Thank you for your time.